On this episode of The Wild Table, we take the spoils of our very successful duck season here in New Zealand and we tee up with local pitmasters Mike and Shane from the Big Smoke Barbecue. We turn the meat into some professional ass burger patties to be finished as a succulent gourmet burger. There are sauces, there are spices, and we have a good yarn to the lads. Don't miss this episode. It has been an incredibly successful duck hunting season for us so far. And we thought, why not concentrate on actually cooking the duck? So I reached out to friends, uh, Mike and Shane, and these guys run, well actually I'll let you guys tell them what you run. Yeah, well we uh, we're a uh, big smoke barbecue company. Uh, Mike has uh, been the master pit master Ooh. there 12, the 12, 12 years. So you're yep. the original, I suppose, low and slow man in New Zealand, eh? Pretty much, yep. So um, yeah, and we've been we're big fans of what you do. So yeah, we were looking forward to actually putting something together. If I had, today. A, if I had a heartbeat, we'll cook it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can guarantee you that everything that we've got with us has had a heartbeat in the past. So yeah, I'm I'm incredibly excited to cook with you guys. We've already been doing a little bit of prep in the kitchen with Mike. Okay, so that's a, a fairly interesting uh, slaw you've got going on there. What what went into that? Um, so we've got some red cabbage, some green cabbage. Uh, we've got some radish. Uh, carrot, mung beans, we're going to put in some toasted um, sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and I've got one of our dressings really made up. Cool. Uh, yeah, nice and healthy. Is that fresh. your sort of typical go-to yeah. slow recipe? Yeah, definitely. Cool. Something fresh, heaps of colour. Good. That's and all us. goes really good with sort of smoked meats, burgers. Yeah, burgers, meat sandwiches, all sorts of stuff, deli style, you know, barbecues all over it. Spot on. Yeah. Okay, Mike, <laughs> talk to me about this. Okay, so we've got a Robocoop here. It's a commercial food processor. We're going to get a few ingredients out and make a, a, a type of soft cheese for our burgers tonight. Right. The thing about a burger is when you eat it, yeah, you, it's got to be a bit messy. Yeah, for sure. It's got to be street food. If it's not stuck in your beard later in the day, that's right. That <laughs> <laughs> wasn't a good burger. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. Well, I'm, right. I'm excited to see this. So into the mix went cream cheese, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, red onion, sour cream, a special for apricot juice and a few apricots. Give that a quick whiz. Next, add the rest of the apricots, grated cheese and voila, a beautiful soft cheese sauce to enjoy on our bird. Sweet, there you go. Well done. And Bloody easy to do at the same time. Yeah. Five minutes, just stuff that you normally have in your fridge or your spice cabinet. Yeah. Freaking wicked. All right, let's do what I love doing best: lighting a fire. Uh, Mike, I've got two questions for you. One: Why are you using a hair dryer on the? <laughs> I've never seen that contraption before. Yeah, I've got some cooling ponds that are going to come out after this. <laughs> and then the other question is, why why charcoal today rather than wood? Um, well, charcoal is wood. Yeah. Um, you know, essentially. Um, so it's it's still got that flavour. Mm. Um, we can put wood on there, and it'll smoke away. But really, we sort of don't need it mm. with this. Yeah. For cooking burgers, we'll just get the heat up and. And, you, and is it uh, you? You're avoiding sort of heavy, thick smoke at the same time. Yeah, um, and we don't want heavy, thick smoke. Mm. We just want really a clean blue smoke mm. coming out. Yeah. Um, so if you got even heavy white smokes, it's no good. Yeah. It just it just flavors your meat, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 It can overpower it. It, can, it tastes bitter and sorts of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so what you're doing is you're just sort of just getting three to four pieces going. And yeah. Then then we'll just leave it. Yeah. We'll go away. We'll make our burger patties, yeah. and then the time we come back, it's. These are some bloody chunky pieces too, eh? Yeah. You, you guys always use thick stuff like this. Ah, uh, yeah. These are. This is heat beach charcoal. Yeah. Um, I use a few varieties of charcoal, really. Yeah. Any any cooks. benefits to using bigger pieces like this? Uh, it burns longer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just good. Just holds heat a bit better, yeah. does it? Yeah. There you go. I thought you were going to have like a couple of bags of like store-bought, oh, no. but no. We, we don't do that brother around here. <laughs> Good. 
So you just make it kind of a, like a little doughy pancake. Yeah, just kind of roll. Yeah. Roll them out and then these will double in size. Yeah. They're going to have that sort of like, um, like that brioche bun kind of um, I'm not too, to be honest, they should be kind of fluffy. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not too sure because this is a new recipe. Yeah, right. Cool. So we like winging it today with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Total adventure all around. Bye bye. Ta -da. So how long did that take? Fifteen minutes. Yep. And then we'll just make our burgers using these. Sweet. Easy. So this thing here doesn't look like your typical mincer. No. But the, the principle is the same, right? The meat goes in and yep. it comes out minced. That's right. Yep. This, uh, the beauty about this machine here is we'll get a finer cut. Cool, right. Um, rather than a coarse cut when you right. go through a mincer. Which is better for burgers? Yeah, I've, I like a, a smooth burger. Yep. Um, just, the, you know, just a bit more flavor, I think. Yep. You can add a bit more spice to it yep. when it's kind of, you know, really, really blended in. Yep. Okay, mm. so then what's the plan? We're gonna take, we're gonna start with duck. Yep, we'll yep. chuck the duck in. Cool. Um, we'll get a bit of pork sausage meat we'll get out there. We'll yep. chuck that in for a bit of extra fat. Yep. Um, and then we'll work out some flavor combos. We'll put a bit of salt and Man. maybe heat some up a little bit with a bit of chili or something. That sounds a good. We like a bit of heat. Now, um, I've left the skin on the ducks. Yep. What? Good. Does it go in the machine? Yep. So we're just going to put everything in that's boneless. Yep. Right. Um, the good thing about skin on the duck yeah. is it that's where all the fat's stored yeah, and all the right, juice yeah. so once it's all sort of blitzed up yep it's gonna add a lot more flavor just adds to the sauce more yeah. moisture yeah cool Ricket, what do we do we just pretty much bang it straight uh, yep so what we'll do uh we'll put we'll weigh the meat up maybe actually we'll probably do like a 60 cent duck 40 percent um pork sausage that way we know it's got a good amount of fat in it and then we go to cook it up it should be awesome Okay, so um, as part of the Big Smoke Barbecue, these guys also make their own, you guys make your own rubs and flavors, right? Yeah, handmade by us. Cool, so this one is the Burnt to the Steak. Yep. Which is like universal seasoning for... Yeah, for steaks, um, chops, that kind of thing. Yep. yep. It's a real good, real good chunky, you know, sort of, we like a good chunky sort of rub, especially on steaks and things like that. Yep. And when you marinate, you know, steaks or meat over, you know, even overnight in that, or for a few hours, um, it sort of rehydrates because there's big, you know, big pieces in there. So it's real good mix of sort of complex flavors and stuff that just really complement, you know, yep. so many things so well. Mm. And yeah. you reckon it's going to go good with the duck? Well, you know, we've been winging it today, but like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll give her a crack. How much goes in? I'll let uh, I, think, the honest. I think we'll do. Yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I do it as well. Just, just <laughs> gotta get it. Okay. So that's still rinsing down. We're gonna get it a bit smoother yet. I'm excited. Yes. Cool. I don't think I've had a duck burger before. No, I don't think I've had one either. <laughs> I'll take out our duck out. The taster. The taster. Bye. Go try this. <laughs> Man, I am excited to try this. That is duck meat with a little pork meat and your guys' special blueberry sauce. And the steak up. Man! <laughs> the thing is, like, I got to make it sound good anyway, right? So, <laughs> so it's shit, isn't it? <laughs> fuck, that's good. Um, get in there, man. Try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chew carefully. <laughs> and chew carefully. Chew carefully, yeah. Looks good. That's real nice. That good, bit of, good, good bit of color. A little bit of coriander coming through the um, seasoning. Yes. That's a good combination. Mm. Oh yeah. Cool, huh? That's real good. Mm. Happy with oh, that? Yeah. yeah, really happy with that. All right, so we've already processed um, the duck and uh, Shane's actually already gone and pressed a whole bunch of burger patties, which are looking delightful. Um, I've just carved up uh, the hindquarters of a fallow deer, young fallow deer that we shot a little while back. Um, so that is going in with some wallaby meat and more pork. Gotta yeah. have pork in there, right? Pork, the yeah. Not more pork. Not a more pork. pork. Not a more pork, <laughs> but pork. We're, we're not eating I think that. Would be against, <laughs> that would be against <laughs> Someone will have your head for that. Not, yeah. not more pork, pork. More yeah. pork. Anyway, um, and then we're gonna make sausages from that, or is it gonna be more burgers? Um, I think it'd be just burgers, I think, tonight, burgers. just because so, cool. we're on a yeah. bit of a time schedule thing. Just burgers. Yeah. <laughs> no worries, it sounds great. 
So yeah, that that is what's happening here. <laughs> Okay, so I have certainly purchased my fair share of burgers from the butcher, even from a game that I have hunted myself, but I've never actually made a burger. So, here's the burger press. I've just been watching Shane expertly squeeze these things out. And so what do you do? You basically just get a, a paper in the bottom. Yeah, paper, paper in the bottom. You've already done that for me. Put your 150 gram expertly measured out <laughs> patty. Roger. Straight don't in forget there. to put the uh, top one on. This is in rock. So piece of, piece of paper goes on the top, just like that. Yeah, press it down a little bit, yeah, and cool. then bring it in. Right, so we'll make sure that one down, yeah, that's it. Cool. And then squeeze it out. You want you need to push it quite hard. That's it, yep, that's it. Cool. Yep. Oh yeah, and then it spits it right off for you. Look at that. One patty. Bang. 150 grams of pure goodness. Look at that. <laughs> that is sexy. I Boom. like that a lot. <laughs> You need to get out more. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously having all the gadgets and having all this commercial stuff in the kitchen makes this process a lot easier and also a lot more professional looking at the end of the day. But I mean, if you wanted to do this at home by yourself, you definitely could too. You just mince the meat, roll it out by hand, stick to the same measurement, 150 grams is quite good. Um, and then just like put it between two sheets of paper. I mean, look at this, that, that is just, you know, you'd pay money for that, wouldn't you? That at a restaurant, a little bit of that blueberry sauce, sold. So, there's a stack of burgers back there, enough to feed us for the next three months. Um, the burgers are good to go, barbecue is hot. All we're gonna do now is a... We're gonna make a mayonnaise? I kind of know how to make a mayonnaise. One thing that I can tell you for sure not to do, is try to do it with olive oil. <laughs> yes. That's my friend. <laughs> Bryce can attest to. All you're gonna do is waste a whole lot of olive oil. Sorry, Bryce's mum. Okay, so we're just going to chuck a couple of eggs in. Add a teaspoon or more of mustard powder. Around about a tablespoon of vinegar and then I've got my trusty um, oil pourer here so we'll pour we're gonna put two cups in cool. hang on I'll just blitz it up for 30 seconds and then um, we can just add it Paprika. You guys like a bit of boom, eh? Oh yeah. Bring the boom. Some chili. Right. Time to get some meat on the grill. We always took in Fahrenheit, but if we can get it down to about 375, 350. Yep. So we'll just close off a little bit of the air because it's all about airflow with these. Yep. And, um, but yeah, they won't take long to cook. Really? And then we'll flip them over halfway. Yep. So we actually cook them. <clears throat> In this one, you'd normally, quite often over charcoal, you cook, you know, quite often you would um, maybe think about burgers like cooking directly over the charcoal. Mm. But this one, we're going to use sort of indirect heat. Mm. So it actually sort of almost not slow cooks them but sort of cooks them indirectly yep. which is a really nice way to do it look at that there's something so like cool about having hunted something and then bringing it here and then having it wound up being this like professional perfect looking burger bun so these have been on the um, on the green egg cooking away over coals um, until we get like a 165 Fahrenheit internal temperature. So they should be beautiful and moist and ready to go. And I think we're just oh. about to assemble these dishes. The 
that looks amazing. <laughs> Pretty good. So good. So that, good. That looks really good. I, where do I begin with this, man? Like everything is made from scratch, including the burgers. Then we made the patties, made the coleslaw, uh, like a cheese sauce, mayonnaise. What, what's left to say? I'm so freaking hungry. I want to get you, into you it. You just got to dive in. Yeah. Right? We can slice these burgers up. Uh, is this going to be clean eating? No. So avert no. your eyes. Oh man, but this is just a juicy looking burger. Look at that. Mm. If that doesn't make you hungry, something wrong with you. Or you vegetarian. Yum. Yum. Oh my god. This is so good. <laughs> and so messy. In my face. <laughs> oh man. That's just on point, eh? That little blueberry sauce in the middle there? Yeah, it's a nice little Just nice. And then the, the cheesy hit from the from the sauce on the top. Juicy ass burger meat. Mm. Fire out, man. Couldn't get better than that. I'm not going to take another bite because then I won't be able to say anything and I have cheese <laughs> sauce dripping all over my face. <laughs> but you guys should tuck into this and so should you. Yep. Bon Wait. That was friggin' delicious. So a big thank you to you fellas and I cannot wait to cook more awesome food with you guys. 